is it okay to lie about your income to your partner? I would say yes, uh, depending on circumstance. Um, but then again, it's up to you. It's your income. But I was listening to a radio show last night which sort of put this in perspective, and I know this from my own experiences. What you had is the guy wants to get a house, and, and his wife wants a house as well, because they're living with the in-laws in the basement. So you got his wife and you got him. He has money in a 401, whatever that is in the US, plus stock investments, etc. So his money's going like that. He drives around in an old pickup for work, and his wife doesn't work, drives around in a $10,000 loan car. She's also um, got $2,000 in payday loans. So what you've got is the guy's money's going up and hers is going down because she ain't worried about the investments. The husband's paying for it all. She couldn't care less. I'm sure she'll be one of those women that go, but I need a car for the school. Everyone's got a new car, blah, blah, blah. Because, not because I'm being opinionated here, but because I could hear in the tone from the guy on the radio show saying, look, you need to sell the car. You need to just get a $1,000 car. You need to take your investments and pay off those payday loans. You need to um, pay off the car loan. You know, if there's anything left on it, get rid of the car, sell the car, pay off the loans, and get back to zero. And the guy's, t you know, hesitance told me that my wife isn't going to agree with it. There was just in this, <laughs> that you could see where this was like going, which is why in the radio show they were like they were sort of saying um, you need to sit down and have a serious chat with your wife because you you cannot afford to live like this. If you want to move out of the basement of your in-laws, you have to get serious about your investments. And this is where I get onto lying about your income because a lot of the time people do not need to know how much you have in investment, shares, stocks, whatever. It's none of their business. It's a private thing. I have investments and stuff, and I'll be honest, my wife doesn't even look at it. She's not even interested. Um, but at the same time, I have no issue with my wife knowing about them, because if something happened to me, she needs access to them. Um, but on the other hand, a previous partner, um, she thought I earned £300 a week, because I hadn't told her I had had other money for years. Um, because she spends money like no tomorrow. I get in on a Friday, knock at the door, Avon calling, £98. Where was she? Oh, she's not home yet. I'll pay it and I'll get it back off her. She ran up about £1,500 worth of debt with me. And this is debt I'm not going to see and not expected to see, but she calculated it because she felt better that she actually knew how much money she owed me. Um, that is the sort of scenario you get into. That's what the guy was having. Um, because she thought I was on £300 a week. I wasn't. I was actually taking home about 600 at the time. Later on, I was taking, um, well, on a good week, 1200 to £1,400 a week home um, because of all the overtime and stuff. And then I did locksmithing as well, which is another £700 a week. So I had a fairly good income. But she would still fritter her way through it. And if you imagine if I'd been on the £300 mark, I would have been bankrupt. Um, but the reality is, because she thought I had less than I had, it rained her in a little bit. Could I actually change the way she is? No hope whatsoever. Still the same. No hope whatsoever. That's why when she got a new guy, I was sort of like, um, I feel, you know, I hope she changes for his, for his sake. <laughs> because for my... When we split up, I ended up with an extra two and a half thousand pounds in my bank in the first month. First month, extra two and a half thousand spare after all bills, etc. Uh, and it sort of went on from there. That's why there was a joke with me and my wife because I either went to the Philippines and got married, or I was buying a Porsche. That was it. I was buying one. <laughs> I was either buying the car or paying for a trip out to the Philippines. Um, on a holiday, and then we ended up getting married, etc. So there was like either uh, getting married or buying a new car. So I made the right decision. <laughs> uh, but the the whole point is, yes, it's okay to lie to your wife if you're in that sort of scenario. But also, from my own experience, it was avoiding the main problem, was the fact is she's out of control financially. 
and at the same time that guy had the same scenario because he's like switching off to it he's investing and saving all his money his wife's spending more and getting on credit and all this sort of stuff and the problem is you're both responsible for that day i mean he ain't going to walk away from her what's going to happen is his credit score and everything will get dragged down with her so that's the reality you may be better off sitting there and confronting each other and going right um we need to have a serious talk because your money management is destroying everything um so i would say yes it's okay to keep things private but i would also say it may actually be avoiding the problem i just thought i'd throw that out there today because i know it's one of the big problems we have these days is i I mean i see it with friends where they get a girlfriend and she's driving around in a 2008 car or even older and he's driving around in this year's car it's already paid off or whatever because he's been single he's been earning good money as an engineer etc um so he's paid his car and then i'm sitting in the pub and then he's in his girlfriend's old car and i'm like why are you driving that oh well she, she needs something reliable for work oh okay but why are you driving around in that that's not your car <laughs> she's took your new car and she's giving you something that was less than a deposit for your your, your car. Um, I'm not being selfish here. It's the fact is you worked hard for your car. Um, just because she's at college doesn't mean that um, you should be giving up something you worked hard for when you were at college. <laughs> um, that's not how work, life should be. Equality, which is the Western word, turns around and says you will get that car in five years times when you have earned enough to buy one up until then that's my car it's not selfish you have your own car already this is mine i work hard for it we're quite happy to use it as a couple but i don't see why i should be giving up my car so you can use my use mine so i can drive around in your old crappy car um just personal opinion. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>